Hi everyone. Here we present the ShadowNet, a multi-context in band deep network for shadow removal. According to how the illumination is occluded, shadow can be classified as umbra and penumbrations. The existing shadow removal pipeline often have the following three steps. First, detect shadow regions and then classifying the umbrella and penumbrations, and finally design to reconstruction algorithm for the umbrella and penumbrations respectively to remove shadows. This traditional shadow removal pipeline often have the following three limitations. Firstly, lack of a fully automatic and end-to-end -end pipeline. And secondly, the neglected high-level semantics of information they also require specific operation for the penumbrations. Thus, we hope our method can solve the following three mentioned limitations. To begin with, let us deploy the relationship between shadow image and its shadow free image. A shadow free image can be considered as a pixelized product of shadow matter and shadow image. Thus, all shadow removal process is directly transformed to estimating a shadow matter for input shadow image to remove the shadows without shadow detection. We then propose a multi context in band deep network, the shadow net, to learn the mapping function between the shadow image and its shadow matter. And our idea is that an accurate shadow matter estimation method need to understand the image content from a global scale and model the precise illuminate compensation with local image details. Hence, in the shadow net, we implement these two ideas by design three cooperative sub-networks. These three sub-networks are global localization network, appearance modeling network, and semantic modeling network. The global localization network, GNET, aims at describing the global structure of the image and it functions on VGD16. It contains five convolution blocks. The shallow layer of, VG, of GNET captures the local appearance information while the deep layer captures the high level semantic information. On the basis of GNET, we then design the other two subnetwork, ANET and SNET. The ANET acquires the appearance information from the shallow layer of GNET combined with local image detail to predict shadow matter in core scale and help model the appearance information of shadow matter. While the SNET acquires the semantic information from the deep layer of GNET combined with local image detail and to predict shadow matter in fine scale and help encode the semantic information of the shadow matter. Here are some quantum comparisons. It demonstrates that our methods outperform the compiled methods among all the compared datasets. And the following is the quantitative comparison results. Since our method doesn't require shadow detection, it is adaptive to shadows with wider invariant penumbra valence than the row E, and uh, it also works well for shadows cast on different semantic durations than the row F. And the last column is our results. So, apart from these two contributions, we have also provided a large scale shadow removal data set. Thanks.